This is the only video that you need for fragrance recommendations. What's up my cherry bombs? <laughs> On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my recommendations for the Sephora sale that's coming up, you guys. I don't know if this is gonna be posted on the day that the Sephora sale starts, but if it is, these are the ultimate fragrance selections for you guys. This is the time to buy it because the Sephora sale is the best sale of the year. Rouge get 20% off, VIB get 15% off, and then Insider get 10% off. If you haven't signed up for the Sephora Beauty Insider, go ahead and do so because there's a lot of perks and benefits to do so. I am Rouge because y'all know I be shopping, okay? This is the only video that you need for fragrance recommendations. I have over 60 fragrances to share with you guys. So go ahead and grab a seat, grab a drink, cause you're gonna need it. And let's get right into this video. Like I said before, the Sephora sale is the perfect time to stock up on your favorite fragrances. And I wanted to make this video so that way you know exactly what to look forward to during the sale and what fragrances to buy. Now I have fragrances, I have body mist that I like and I have fragrances that I like on my husband as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into this video. The first fragrance is gonna be the ones that I highly recommend for men, okay? Because we can't leave our men aside and if you have a special guy in your life or your son or your brother or a friend that you wanna gift a fragrance, these are the ones that I highly recommend. The first one is for that guy that likes a nice leather fragrance. If you like buttery leather fragrances, I highly recommend Tom Ford Ombre Leather. It is such a signature scent and a special occasion type of fragrance as well. I'm definitely going to re-up on this fragrance because we literally have a little bit left. And if you are into layering and your man or your friend love layering, this is a really good fragrance to layer with because you can add a touch of leather and some spice to any fragrance and it's gonna work. I like this one and I think that this one is one that you guys should definitely check out. I feel like this one is an entry level leather fragrance that everyone should have in their collection. This one is an OG that I highly recommend for men and it is Dior Ohm. Now this one is the Intense. I would highly recommend this one because it is intense, okay? It's like a powdery vanilla little spice fragrance it smells so freaking good it smells amazing on a man and it smells amazing on a woman this is what my husband is wearing today um ironically and look at the dent y'all could tell that we really love this fragrance i am going to re-up on this one as well i'm gonna get him 100 ml of this one because yeah he likes this one too much and i love it it lasts all day on the skin and this is another one that i highly recommend as far as signature scent i feel like if a man walks into a room with this fragrance on he knows what he's doing with his life he's put together he looks good okay really like this one dior ohm is probably my favorite um man fragrance at the moment when it comes to designer i'm not even gonna lie it is so good and before i liked why i sell why but when this got into the collection i stopped I stopped. I stopped and I said, yeah, this one, this is the one. So definitely get this one. If you're looking for a fragrance that's gonna work and that's gonna get you the compliments. Like if you like fragrances like this, then this one is good. And the last fragrance that I highly recommend for a man is this one right here. This fragrance get a lot of backlash, but I like this version of this fragrance alone because I feel like there's a reason why people like it. It works, it lasts long, and it is Sauvage. Now this one is the Elixir. I got this one for my husband um, during Valentine's Day because he wanted a Sauvage, but I did not wanna smell the regular Sauvage that we smell every day. And I remember when this came out, I loved it. The moment I had the opportunity, I was able to get this for him, I got it. Elixir is sexy, it is like, Honestly, you thought Sauvage was sexy? No, this one is the sexiest one of them all. And I love EDT, don't get me wrong. EDT is amazing, but this one right here, top tier. I highly recommend this one, especially if you're looking for one that is good for all year long, all day wear, and you could even wear for date night too. This is very sexy and I don't care what nobody say. When a man walks around with Sauvage on him, I don't care what you say, you're gonna break your neck. You're gonna be like, wow, he smells good. And I know a lot of people don't like Sauvage because it's so oversaturated, but I don't care. That's the reason why it's so good, because it's good, okay? That's the reason why. 
because it's good. So definitely try the Sauvage Elixir if you like the Sauvage line. This is in no particular order, like I said. The one that I highly recommend for a signature scent if you're looking for one to wear every single day throughout the whole year, specifically for the springtime, Chloe Nomad, and this is the original. I know a lot of the girls talk about the Intense, but I highly recommend the original. I feel like this one is so put together, so classy, and y'all could see that I really love this. I love wearing this during the spring and summertime. It lasts all day throughout the heat in Florida. Y'all know I'm from Florida, so y'all know our heat do not play at all. This is one that I highly recommend that works perfect during this time of year. If you like a beautiful note of peach with some whipped cream, this one is it. I highly recommend this one if you're looking for a signature scent that is different from everything that you smell at work or at church or, you know, on a day-to-day. -day. I like this one and I highly recommend this one. This next one is one that has a beautiful custard note. And if you didn't watch my last video, I shared this one. It is Sunkiss Dyla from Skylar and it's a clean house. This one is beautiful. This is another one that I think that is perfect for this time of year. It is definitely perfect for the spring and the upcoming summertime. If you like the note of custard and florals and a little bit of fruitiness, this one is it. Especially if you're one of those girls that don't like overpowering scents, but you still want to smell pretty and cute. I think this one is safe to say that it is heavy, but it's also sensitive approved. I like this one a lot. Next one is a coconut fragrance from Skylar as well, and it is Coconut Cove. I like this one because it is the perfect spring and summertime fragrance. And you guys know that people go to vacation during the spring and summertime, and I think it is perfect for that time. If I am on somebody's beach, this is how I want to smell. If I am at someone's poolside party during the spring and summertime, I'm sunbathing or whatever I'm doing. If I'm doing outside activities that has to do with the water, this is what I'm wearing. It is the perfect fragrance for this time of year, especially if you're going on vacation. I'm moving on to this next one. It is Juliet Has a Gun Lust for Sun. Now, I like this one because it's in the name. If you're outside and there's sun and you're in nature, this is perfect. This is also one that I would wear on vacation. It is so good, you guys. I see myself wearing this on a hot summer day, drinking a pina colada, literally giving all the vacation vibes. So if you like Juliet Has a Gun, this one is the one that I highly recommend from the entire line that I have. I have um, three fragrances from the line and this is my favorite one so far. And it's Juliet Has a Gun, Lust for Sun perfect for this time of year. This next one is for the girls that like your skin but better fragrances. If you like a fresh clean skin, if you like fragrances that has a little oomph in it but it doesn't smell like you're wearing anything, you really want to smell like you smell like this on a daily basis, this one is for you and it is Glossier You. I like the name because it describes your scent. If I spray it on my skin and you spray it on your skin and we put our skins together, it's gonna smell different because it meshes with your skin chemistry. So on me, it could pull a little sweeter. On you, it could pull a little woodier. I like fragrances like that because these fragrances can act as fragrance enhancers as well. So if you have a fragrance in your collection that doesn't really last that long, wearing it with Glossier U will make it last long because this fragrance have chemicals that will enhance your fragrance while enhancing your natural scent. Really love this one. This is a masterpiece. And I think that if you're looking for a fragrance and you are on a budget and you just want something that smells like your skin but better, this one is perfect. Now this next one is not a perfume per se. It is a body mist and it is Charosa 62. Obviously you guys see this big bottle because I really, really love this one. If you like the notes of pistachio, salted caramel, this is it. It smells like the summertime. It smells like a vacation. It smells like the perfect grandma fragrance that you can wear during the summertime. Now, y'all know I have the perfume, but I felt like this is one that's affordable and you can easily put it in your bag and just spray it on. Now, the perfume is for the girls that really love this scent and want to take it up a notch. I will link it down below, but I wasn't going to share it this time around because I was just like, which one is more practical? Most people would just go with this one. I like it and I think that you get a good bang for your buck. And out of all the sprays I've smelled, especially body sprays, this is one of the ones that lasts past four hours. You guys know their newest release is the one that's called 59. Now this one is for my girls that likes vanilla. If you like vanilla, if you like violet, this one is perfect. This is their vanilla scent. And what's good about this one, they made the body butter moisturizing. So when I tell you, if you like the Fenty Butter Drop, if you like the um, Josie Moraine body butters. You see how rich and shiny and just moisturizing those are? 
I will be sharing that in my skincare and body care um, fragrance recommendations. This line is really good. 59 is literally one of my favorites. I just wish that 62 had the moisturizing bum bum cream. The last one from Sol de Janeiro that I highly recommend is 71. This one for me, I feel like is 62, but times two. Like I feel like that's 62 on steroids, literally. This one has caramelized vanilla and macadamia. It is so freaking good. Like honestly, Soda Janeiro, if you are listening, please, 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 please make this into a perfume. Just make it into a perfume. It's so good. Love this one. This is another one that I highly recommend from Soda Janeiro. If I am sharing a body spray with you guys, y'all know it is good. And the next one is one from Fleur and it is Vanilla. I don't know if they have it in a perfume form. If they do, I'm getting it. I am. I am getting it because this is so good. This is so good it smells nothing like vanilla 28 okay because i know like when it comes to vanilla fragrances most people compare it to vanilla 28 or vanilla woods this is so good this is like a vanilla fragrance you can wear all year round and i feel like honestly if you were to take this and just spray it on for date night you're all set oh my god it is so good they did a really good job with this one i highly recommend this one if you can choose <laughs> out of all the body sprays i would say get this one because i feel like this one sells out so much i have been wearing this with a whole bunch of fragrances and i just got it i just got it it layers so well y'all don't even see a dent because it lasts long that's insane. I really, 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 really like this. And I highly recommend to get this during the sale. And the last one that I have from Fleur is Mood Ring. You guys already know, if you like Jolly Rancher fragrances, this is it. This smells like Jolly Ranchers. It smells like gummy bears. It's so fruity and pretty and just cute. I think it is perfect for the springtime. This has been a fragrance that I've been pulling for over and over and over. If you guys see the dent, I have been pulling for her over and over all spring long. Well, at least on March along. And this was on the perfume tray and I really, really liked it a lot. I'm tempted to put it on my next perfume tray. It's nothing groundbreaking, but it's one of those fragrances that, you know, you just feel like it's so easy to wear. Like it don't matter what the occasion is. You just don't mind pulling for it. I really like it and I highly recommend this one. If you like Gourmands, this one is a really affordable Gourmand and it is Dose by Rosie Jane. On my skin, I get six hours. Okay, by the four hour mark, it becomes a skin scent, but I could still smell it. And I still have a nice little sillage around me. It's a clean fragrance house and you know, it's using clean ingredients, it's vegan. So you can't expect it to last 20 plus hours on the skin. If you like caramel, if you like vanilla, this one is it. It is sweet, it is comforting, it is beautiful. It is very, very delicious. It smells like oozing caramel. Like this one is really, really nice and I highly recommend it, especially if you are a gourmand girly. This next one is a new release from Rosie Jane and this is the ultimate travel um, type of fragrance as well. And it is Missy. Now this one has tiara flower, it has coconut, it has all of those exotic notes for the summertime. It smells like a cocktail that you would get in Hawaii or in Puerto Rico or, you know, in Barbados and Trinidad and Jamaica. Like it smells like something that you would get in the Caribbean. I love, 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 love this one. It smells amazing on the skin. And I find that this one lasts a little bit longer than Dose. I got this in PR maybe a month before it came out. It was a mystery package. So they sent us a 10 ml with no name, no notes or anything. And automatically when I first smelled it, I said, okay, this one is for the summertime. But when I sprayed it on, I got so many compliments and it was lasting all day. So if you're looking for a fragrance that's perfect for the spring and summertime for vacation, this one is another one that you can choose from. I know that it's the spring and summertime, and um, you guys are putting away y'all heavy fragrances, but I don't because I live in Florida, so it's kind of hot all the time. And this is a fragrance that I will be wearing for date night during the spring or summertime. A Long Kiss Goodnight by Chris Collins. This is a beautiful rose with vanilla and leather. Wow, this is so nice. It is so pretty. It is so long lasting and it's black owned. So definitely check this one out right now during the Sephora sale. Now y'all know I love a good Tom Ford fragrance and I only have three that I highly recommend right now during the springtime. And the first one is Cafe Rose. Now this is the newer release and I like it. I definitely like it for the spring and summertime. Now I felt like it was a little underwhelming for the fall time, but right now I feel like if you like that coffee vibe and you like that rose vibe, 
with the musk this one is it now i do get a little bit of the coffee but towards the dry down i get really a rose and a musk so if you like that vibe definitely check this one out it is very sophisticated and it smells good you guys already know like in all the tom ford fragrances no matter how light or how heavy it is it, that DNA, that DNA always give off classiness, sophistication. I don't know what it is about Tom Ford fragrances, but when you smell it, it smells rich. It smells like money. It don't matter how light or how heavy it is. Highly recommend this one for this time of year. Now for my girls that really want to be bold and, you know, out there this spring and summertime, I highly recommend Soleil Brillant. This one is really nice. This is one that I can see as a signature scent. You guys know that I got married in May. So um, on our second year anniversary, we we both got new fragrances for that anniversary. And this is what I wore. It's so pretty, a beautiful, spicy floral that I think that can be worn all year round, to be honest with you guys. So definitely check this one out. Next one is for my vanilla lovers, but if you like vanilla and almond, then this one is one that you want. And it is vanilla sex. Now, like I said, when I first reviewed this fragrance, it's not giving vanilla sex. It's definitely giving vanilla skin or um, sensual vanilla because it's more of a almond and a musky vanilla. It's not very creamy and sultry and just like, you know, super sexy at all. I'm not getting that at all. To me, this is a signature scent vanilla fragrance. If you are a corporate baddie and you just want something that is more sophisticated on a sophisticated level, but st still simple, this one is it. vanilla sex is really nice i don't agree with the prices to be honest with you guys but it's a nice time to get it during the sale so vanilla sex if you got it definitely go ahead and get it because baby i don't even know if i would get it to be honest with you guys but if you were looking into tom ford fragrances those are the three that i really recommend at least for now now this next fragrance is one that i think that is another vacation fragrance and you're gonna see that because obviously this is the spring sale so i'm just giving you guys different options as far as fragrances for this time of year as well, because I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna get fragrances that's on your wish list, but you probably want something else that's different that you can wear right now as well. And this is another one, and this is from Dead Cool, and it is called Sunlit Blooms. It's in the name, you guys. It's fresh, it is sweet. It is um, one of those fragrances that you can wear during the spring and summertime. It's a signature scent fragrance. This is nothing groundbreaking at all. If you know anything about Marc Jacob fragrances, then you probably would like this. It is something that I feel like Marc Jacob would come out with, but this one kind of lasts longer. It is beautiful. It's a fruity floral. You really can't go wrong with a fruity floral. Now this next one is for the girls that love a good rose, okay? If you like lychee and you like rose, I highly recommend lychee rose from Ness. Now you guys know Ness makes beautiful candles and they also make beautiful fragrances. I really love their candles. So trust me, these fragrances are really nice. Lychee Rose is literally exactly what it is. Lychee and Rose. Super simple, super fresh, but it's one of those fragrances that will keep you coming back for more, okay? Really, really highly recommend this one. Golden Nectar, and this is one for the girls that love that floral but wants an extra added amber and vanilla. Yeah, this is that. This is their um, vanilla fragrance in a fragrance form with florals i really 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 like this one highly highly recommend and you guys know that nest has some of the best perfume oils and the ones that i highly recommend are the turkish rose perfume oil now i like to wear this with lychee rose this is perfect bellini's coconut is one that i would wear for the springtime i love layering this with golden nectar I actually layered it with lychee rose and it did not disappoint at all this is another one it's coconut it's milk it is so freaking cute. If you're looking for a coconut fragrance, this is the one that I highly, and I mean I highly recommend. It is beautiful. Indian Jasmine is another one for a sensual night. If you want to elevate any fragrance with a note of jasmine, this is beautiful. Jasmine is known to be a very sexy and sensual flower, okay? Yeah, this oil is nice. Definitely check this one out if you like jasmine. And the original one is Madagascar Vanilla. I have been through four bottles of these. I love them. Yeah, it is pricey, but I always get it during the Sephora sale so that way I don't have to ever pay full price for it. Oh my gosh, Madagascar Vanilla is the perfect OG vanilla perfume oil. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, if I had to choose out of all the vanilla perfume oils, this is definitely top five. Speaking of vanillas, 
Vanilla Woods is one that I highly recommend if you like a woody vanilla. It's smoky, it is sexy, it is one that I like to wear during date night. It has a little bit of brown sugar in it. I love it. It is the It Girl Vanilla Fragrance. If you don't have Vanilla Woods in your collection, this is the time to get it and add it to your collection. <laughs> During the spring and summertime, y'all know we like the coconut, we like the tiara, and coconut sun is another one. You guys know I love my tiara and coconut for Japani type of fragrances. During the spring and summertime, this one is that one. This is a beautiful, beautiful one. It's super long lasting, and I highly recommend this one if you like the House of Seven Virtues vanilla and this one is their newest release it has carnation it has amber and it has vanilla it is so pretty during this time of year this one could be worn all year long but it smells amazing right now i wore it the other day it was so perfect outside it was like 85 degrees girl the compliments and it's insane okay it's insane i went and got my nails done and i got so much compliments at the nail shop this is beautiful. Um, if you don't have anything from Seven Virtues, I highly recommend those three. Now, this next one is from a brand that I highly, highly recommend. And I like it because it is so different. Nobody's talking about them like that, like that, like that. And that's why I feel like, let me put y'all on. It is Lover from The Maker. The Maker makes really nice fragrances. I like them because they give off that Maison Margiela vibe. Like, um, they tell a story with their fragrances. This is beautiful. This is a sexy date night fragrance. It is woody. It is fresh. It has a little sweetness to it. I highly recommend to smell these. Now, I feel like the maker makes very unique fragrances, so I wouldn't say blonde by. I would highly recommend to go in store to try this out and determine if you like it or not. But Lover, yeah. But during the springtime, I highly recommend Libertine. This one literally makes me feel free. Okay, it's the perfect citrusy, woody, spicy fragrance perfect for the springtime when you spray it on it's one of those fragrances that is perfect to just spray on and go it is perfect for the springtime and it's one that i like i know i'm saying perfect but these are my favorite from every single brand y'all know i couldn't make this list without a favorite and it is valentino born in roma donna born in roma and this is the original. And if you like a beautiful, sexy fragrance that's gonna last all day long, that's gonna get you the compliments, this is it. This has been going viral for a reason. It is the It Girl fragrance. It is getting the same hype that La Vie Belle got when La Vie Belle came out. So you guys know it's real. And if a fragrance house is making flankers, you know it is popular. And speaking of flankers, one of my favorite flankers from the Born and Roma line is the one that is the Intense. I just like this one. It's the intensified version of this, but for some reason, I feel like this one is giving spring, is giving vacation, is giving tropical, where this one is giving signature scent. Love this one. I would wear this during the nighttime, wear this during the daytime. And I also made a video, if you really want me to dive in deeper on these two, I made a video and I'll link it down below for you as well. But I highly recommend these two from the Born and Roma entire line now this next brand is one that i haven't really shared on this channel you guys probably seen it when i went to new york and that was the first time i was introduced to this brand and it is love shack now this one is love shacks forever in love and this one to me is their pretty girl fragrance this is so sensual it is so freaking pretty it smells like you're fresh out of the shower if you like fragrances like libre or born in roma then you'll really like this one and i think it's so cute especially for this time of year spring and summer pulling out this pretty bottle to spray on your body just gives off all the vibes love shack is a pretty brand it's nothing groundbreaking to be completely honest with you guys but it's so cute so if you haven't tried them definitely give them a sniff I'm, like i said it's nothing groundbreaking but you might you might find it your new signature scent you never know i like this one and i highly recommend this one for girls that don't like heavy heavy fragrances then of course my favorite from the line bohemia i don't know if it's bohemia or bohemia or boheme but it is my favorite this one you guessed it right is a tropical fragrance love it it's so fresh it is so aquatic it is so fruity it is like a suntan lotion it's nice and this one actually lasts okay Really like this one. I highly recommend it if you're looking for that style of fragrance. Now, Love Shack's Bohem is amazing. Check it out. If you like a beautiful vanilla fragrance, this one is another vanilla fragrance that I feel like you guys should try. And this is Into Deep by Five Cents. This is the brand that had invited me to Miami's, um, their fragrance launch. 
is beautiful it is a nice one this one has tahitian vanilla and sandalwood like i said it is a nice nice one it lasts so long it is so creamy and sweet and for it to be a clean house and it's very affordable under a hundred dollars it lasts so freaking long we gifted this to claudia as well and she really loved it if you're looking for a different type of vanilla and from a brand that no one's talking about this one is it you heard it here first because into deep is really beautiful this next one really shocked me this one is from mark jacobs and it is their newest one it is daisy wild what i really like about this one is the fact that it is pretty like look how cute that packaging is with the pink and the green and the white but the gold accent yes 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 but i like this one because of the banana leaf note oh my gosh it kind of gives off mango i don't know but it's just so good it gives off mango but it's banana leaf and this is my first time smelling banana leaf so yeah i like it now once it starts to dry down i do get that essence of banana but for me it's just a fruity fresh fragrance i like it it's really good and obviously you guys it was on the tray it is a one ounce just to be fair but come on like what this is another one that i really recommend if you like musky fruity florals that's also sensual and ambery you know it it is fenty okay fenty perfume by rihanna come on now you really thought i was gonna make this fragrance list without including the queen's fragrance this is so pretty it's sensual and it's musky it smells amazing on a man and a woman she marketed it as unisex and if you put this on a man's skin you will be surprised it smells so freaking sexy i love this to wear to bed too super super sexy it's actually uber sexy if you ask me when it comes to it girl fragrance collections it's not a collection without libre it really isn't YSL Libre is the most popular fragrance right now on social media. It is a beautiful lavender and vanilla fragrance. I love the original. When the original came out, it got a lot of backlash, but I remember watching Tiff Benson's video and she was like, guys, please stop following what the internet says and go test it out yourself. When I smelled it, I was just like, I don't understand what they're talking about because this is so freaking sexy. And I'm happy that Tiff Benson said to go out and smell it. Because girl, when I did that, I never looked back. I never looked back. This is amazing. Because you can't go wrong with that, they threw in the intense. And this is another one. If you like a boozy vanilla, this one is it. And it doesn't have that boozy note in it, but I just feel like it's a rich lavender and vanilla. It's literally up scale, okay? This is one that I would wear for date night and special occasions. And this is one that I would wear for every single day. You like a heavier version of Libre and you still want one that you can wear from the daytime to the nighttime, I highly recommend to get Libre Black Absolute Palatine. Wow, this one is the perfect one. And I always say this, I feel like the brand probably originally came out with this one, but they were like, this is about to be a banger, so how can we make it make more money? They brung it down to a concentration of this and then they put a little bit up and they made this and then the final version was this but in my mind i feel like this was originally the final version they just broke it down and worked their way up so they can make more money i don't know let me know if y'all think the same thing too i like this one this is amazing if i had to choose between the three i would pick this one i would but y'all already know this already if y'all didn't if you're new here i love black opium okay i love it but i highly recommend to try this new one the over red Oh my gosh, if you like cherry, then this one is the one for you because it has the cherry and the coffee and the vanilla. It just takes it up a notch. Really, really, really love this one. It is a little bit of powdery. It is so good and it's long lasting. Definitely check this one out if you like the black opium line. Out of the two, I will say get this one. I love the original, but that's only because I got engaged in it and I really did love it. So it's going to always have a special place in my heart. But out of the two, if I had to choose, this one would be it. Like Mugler fragrances, this is the only one that I recommend. And it is Angel Elixir. This smells nothing like the original Angel, okay? I'm just letting y'all know, this is so freaking good. I think that this one is a fruitier version. It still have that gourmand touch to it, but it's way fruitier and floral. This is so sexy, okay? Signature scent worthy, check long lasting check compliment getter check to check to check okay so good i'm not gonna ponder on it too much check it out please it smells amazing another one that i highly recommend is burberry her 
oh my gosh it is beautiful it's strawberry raspberry whipped cream vanilla all of that goodness then definitely get Barberry Her Elixir. This one is so creamy, it's so sweet. It smells like a creamy strawberry milkshake. So freaking good. I highly recommend Barberry Her and out of the whole entire line, these are the two that I recommend. So good. And of course, I highly recommend Goddess by Barberry. This is another fragrance that has the notes of lavender and vanilla. It's good, it's ambery. It is one that's gonna get you the compliments. If you like vanilla fragrances or if you have a friend that likes vanilla fragrances, I highly recommend this one. It is so good. Definitely check this one out if you want to get into Burberry, but you don't like the hair line. I highly recommend this line, Goddess. It's so good. Y'all know I love the House of Chanel, but if I had to choose out of the whole entire line, these two would be it. The Chanel Chance Eau Tundra. This is fresh, clean, perfect for springtime, perfect for brunch, perfect for every single day. I love this one. This is the Eau de Parfum and I highly, highly recommend this one. If you're trying to give off that clean girl aesthetic, you can't do that without a Chanel fragrance. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Everyone should have a Chanel fragrance in their collection. I just happen to have a lot of them, but I highly recommend this one. If you're a type of girl that's a little edgy and you like fresh and clean, crisp, woody, spicy fragrances, then I highly recommend chance O fresh edp okay O fresh was definitely their unisex type of fragrance they never marketed it as unisex but it definitely gave off unisex vibes and i like it it is so good this one is O fresh but on an amped up level and it's way long lasting and the original edt version lasted all day oh my gosh i sprayed this on mark the first time i got it and he was like babe whatever you sprayed on me yeah, I like it because everybody was giving me compliments. This is one that I would highly recommend to get for the summertime because if you're looking for a fragrance that's not going to irritate you, that's going to smell fresh and clean all day, this one is that, okay? Oh, how I love Eau Fresh. So imagine Eau Fresh EDP. Now you guys know that I was never a Prada fan, okay? I don't like Prada candy. I don't like none of the other Prada fragrances until they brought out this line, the Prada Paradox line. And I highly recommend to get Paradox the Original and Paradox the Intense. What can I say? They're so good. They're fruity floral fragrances. Prada Paradox is one that I will wear during the daytime. And this one is one that I will wear during the nighttime or even date night. Signature scent worthy, both of them are. But I feel like if you have both, you can interchange them. If you wanna wear this during the winter and fall time, you can. If you wanna wear this during the spring and summertime, you can, or vice versa. This is a really solid line and I highly recommend these two from Prada. If you don't have anything from Prada, these are the ones that I highly recommend. I'm still hanging in there. We have a quite a bit left to go to, so please go ahead and take this time to re-up on your popcorn, your sandwich, your drink, because we still got a few, but we are almost there. The next line is the infamous Killian line and I recommend Love Don't Be Shy. Oh my gosh. If you like orange blossom, marshmallow, if you like a gourmand, sweet, fluffy fragrance, slightly powdery for the spring and summertime, this is it. This is one that I highly recommend for the girls that are trying to smell sexy all year long, okay? The girls that like sweet fragrances, this is one. This is one that they said that Rihanna wore. It's her signature scent. I don't think it's her signature scent, but I feel like that specific day when they asked her what she was wearing, this is what she was wearing. That's why this fragrance went viral, outside of it actually smelling really, really nice. So if you ever thought, should I get Love Don't Be Shy? You should, it's good, good. Next one that I highly recommend from Killian is Princess. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. This is so sexy. I like this. Every single time I wear this fragrance, it's good. It is like a powdered marshmallow. Like it is so good, long lasting. I have the original bottle and I have this bottle as well. If you're looking for a fragrance that could be worn for date night during the spring summertime, yeah, this one, this one is it, baby. I love, love, love it. Y'all know we couldn't do a list without a Lancome, Lancome fragrance. And we have Lancome's Idol. This is the original Idol. Oh my gosh, like springtime fragrance. Yes, this is one that I highly recommend. If you don't choose any fragrance for the springtime, especially if you're looking for one that's a signature scent that you can wear to the office without offending nobody, this is it. Okay. It's the prettiest entry level rose that I highly recommend for this time of year. Oh my God, if you don't get anything from this list, definitely check this one out because I highly recommend this one. Super long lasting. Now they have an entire line, but 
the original is my favorite. I'm sorry. I like it. It's so good. And the infamous and the most famous fragrance of them all, La Vie Belle. You already know this one. Orange Blossom, Vanilla, Aldehydes, all of that good stuff. If you're looking for a super sweet signature scent fragrance, La Vie Belle is that. This is one that walks into a room before you walk in. This is one that will garner compliments. It no matter how many people that wears this, every single time I wear it, I get a compliment. And it's been out for years, years. It is so freaking good. Love this one, I highly recommend this one. Definitely check this one out. I love Jo Malone fragrances and I love them because they are fragrances that you could just easily put in your bag and just keep reapplying. They're so fresh and so clean and I feel like they have their time and place. I remember when I first started my fragrance journey and Jo Malone was a fragrance that most people didn't like or a fragrance brand that most people didn't like because the longevity and I realized that they have their time and place. Out of all my fragrances during the time I was sick, Jo Malone fragrances was one that I could wear because they were fresh and light. These are some fragrances that I feel like are perfect. Obviously the darker the bottle, the darker the juice and the higher concentration it is. And the first one that I highly recommend is Scarlet Poppy. This one is a beautiful Scarlet fragrance. This one has Poppy in it. It's so freaking good. This is one that I wear to date night. This is one that I layer. Mark love this fragrance as well. It is such a staple to having your collection. It works amazing on a man and a woman. It's sweet, it's fluffy, it is perfect. I really, really highly recommend this one. Perfect for date night. But for the girls that's looking for something fresh, I highly recommend Poppy and Barley. Oh my gosh, this has a note of violet, so it's powdery. And this is the most long lasting fragrance that I have from Jo Malone in the clear bottles. I get seven hours with this. And every single time I wear it, people are like telling me that I smell so unique. It doesn't smell like anything that I've smelled before. And that's saying a lot because I got over 600 bottles of fragrances. Y'all, this is so good. And for the girls that like fresh Fruity Lala fragrances, I highly recommend English Pear and Sweet Pea. Love this one and I highly recommend this one. Like I said, they have their time and their place. I like to wear these during the springtime. I like to wear these fresh out of the shower to lounge around, to work like days that I'm working like this. I love this. The next line I highly recommend is Maison Margiela. And the one that I recommend the most for right now, if you like green, fresh fragrances, is From the Garden. This one is one that most people will not appreciate. If you like green, spicy fragrances, then this one is it. This is a fresh, green fragrance. It literally smells like tomato leaves, and I like it. And I like it because you can easily add other fragrances to it or wear it by itself. I like this one because it gets me the compliments surprisingly. I was so shocked when I was getting compliments from this because it is not a fragrance that I would typically get compliments from. But I like it. And it's different from what people are smelling on a regular. So I think that's another reason why I got compliments. Highly recommend this one, but I don't recommend blind buying this. I recommend going in store and smelling this one. Lazy Sunday Morning has been my friend. I've only had this for two weeks now and look at the dent. This is a musky floral. This is fresh slightly powdery but literally all the musk that you can ask for this is that and it's super long lasting on my skin got compliments with this one as well perfect for this time literally perfect to go to bed fresh out of the shower to lounge around or even go get some quick errands and if you work in the hospital setting and you need something that is not too overpowering but that's gonna last all day lazy sunday morning is a good one and then for the girls that wants to be on vacation wants to be on somebody's beach sunbathing i highly recommend beach walk because it literally smells like that a beach you smell the seagulls you smell the coconuts you smell the suntan lotions you smell everything this is it the fresh waters oh the salty sand the salty water this is that i love this one highly recommend this one especially if you're trying to get into maison margiela carolina herrera got some of the best fragrances hands down first one up is the og good girl if you like tuberose if you like sweet sensual fragrances jasmine yeah this one is it i love it you can never go wrong with this one y'all already know how i feel about this one i felt like it should have been called bad girl because girl this one will get you in so much trouble men love this one literally exudes sexy but if you're one of the girls that loves good girl but you want it to give off more of a feminine touch very good girl is amazing because it's that feminine touch but they still have that sex appeal that good girl have but more of a upscale um you know buy me a couple drinks before we get to that part love this one and then for the girls that are super super sensitive or you 
like good girl but you just felt like it was too overpowering and then very good girl was just a little bit too much as well it was better but it was still too much then good girl blush is so good oh my gosh this one is one that is not too heavy but it lasts all day long this is one that i would wear during this time of year this is one that i wear if i'm really trying to live off my soft girl life in my soft girl era yeah good girl blush is perfect and i feel like this one is one that you can wear without offending no one people will smell you but they will not be offended as far as those ones because those ones i'll i want to wear those when i want to be noticed this one you're going to get noticed but you're not going to be all up in everybody's face if that makes sense love love this one and last but not least it wouldn't be a fragrance recommendations video for sephora without kaoli fragrances and y'all know i have almost the entire line but i highly recommend these ones for this time of year and the first one is utopia utopia is your go-to coconut tropical fragrance it smells literally like a vacation in a bottle if you like tom ford's soleil blanc you will love this one because it has that added note of vanilla that all the girls like and if you're looking for one that is perfect that smells like a champagne and rose and lychee then eden sparkling lychee is perfect oh my gosh i just did a reel about this one and it was in my last video you guys this is so good it has black currant sparkling lychee rose candied violet sugared amber and sandalwood so you're gonna get all of that and more you're gonna get that sweetness you're gonna get that little bit of the powdery the sparkling champagne vibes and then that sweetness love this one highly highly recommend of course for my grandma and girlies you can never go wrong with vanilla 28 because this is one that you can layer fragrances with or you can wear by itself i will honestly say that i have layered every single fragrance right here with vanilla 28 because i always want to know if it's gonna have a different effect with an added note of vanilla and my go-to fragrance is vanilla 28 to test the my theories of course if you like nutty sweet ice cream gelato young pistachio gelato is the one for you it has the notes of hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow cotton candy and pistachio gelato girl this is sexy this is amazing this is literally the date night fragrance for the summertime during the hot heat but you still want to smell sexy and you don't want to be you know overwhelmed by fragrance this one is it and that was my recommendations for the sephora cell we literally went through 66 fragrances and i hope that this video was the ultimate fragrance video guide for the sephora cell if you're looking for sexy alluring sweet fresh sensual fragrances these are the ones that you guys should choose from remember that rouge gets 20 percent off vib gets 15 and insider gets 10 percent off i will have everything linked in the description box below for your convenience comment down below what you're going to be getting for the sephora cell and then put hashtag cherry bomb and that way i'll know that you made it this far and you entered yourself for the giveaways i hope you guys enjoyed this video until we see each other again please 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 stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances bye cherry bombs <laughs> that's a wrap <laughs>